Hi there. Today I'm going to do a video on how to change your Windows logon background. Um, depending on which version of Windows you have, whether it's a, a, a home edition or ultimate uh, enterprise, um, there's several different ways because in certain versions of Windows, um, the things that I'm going to show you may not exist in your version, so that's why I'm going to show you a few different ways. Um, the first and easiest way um, is to download a program that's called the Windows 7 Logon Background Changer. Um, you'll download it as a zip, it's small, 777K. I've already pre inflated it. And obviously, if you don't have administrative privileges, you'll have to arrange that in order for you to run this but it's very simple point and click in my particular instance uh, I chose a black background I love black um, the photo in the center naturally is assigned uh, from inside windows for your profile picture logon picture whatever you want to call it um, so what we want to do is we want to change this background here so as you can see uh, this application comes with several um, wallpapers or backgrounds whatever you want to call them that you can use um, or you can um, choose a folder and navigate to where your picture is stored and put your own um, so that's the easiest way so let's uh, let's look at the next two ways so the second easiest way um, if you don't have a run command on your on your um, menu you can also select the uh, Windows R key which will give you a run dialog box and in here you want to type GP edit there it is right there group policy editor and click OK and that's gonna open this up so now what you do is you want to click on computer configuration go to administrative templates click on system and inside system we are going to click on, good question, what are we going to click on here? Um, my mind's just gapping. Is it net logon or logon? It's logon. So you're going to click on logon. And as you'll notice down here, always use custom logon background. So in here now what you would do is select enable. Um, you know, uh, that's basically it uh, for in here. You're going to click apply, OK, and then you're going to close this. OK, so now what you've done is you've set Windows up um, to use this custom uh, background, which is generally uh, provision for OEM uh, equipment manufacturers such as Asus, Gigabyte, uh, Lenovo, so on and so forth to put their own custom stuff in there. Um, so now what you want to do is uh, pick a picture, a, fo a photo, uh, something that you like. I highly recommend that it not be larger than 256 kilobytes or quarter meg, um, as that's what the maximum is for Windows to work with um, that, that photo size, uh, I guess, to wherever it's contained, whatever. Um, once uh, you're in your root driver, your Windows is installed, go to your Windows folder, scroll down, you're looking for your System32 folder. From here, you're going to scroll down, you're looking for the OOBE folder or Out of Box Experience folder. Here it is here. Inside here, you will find a folder, it's called Info. If you don't, right click, New Folder, and name it Info. Inside here, you'll find, uh, well, actually, if you don't have that folder, you'll have to create another folder within it called Backgrounds. You click on backgrounds and this is where you are going to paste or copy your photo to and when you copy it in here you want to rename that file to background default dot jpeg jpg and that's it close you can hit your windows uh, 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 the windows key and the l key to lock the console which will now show you your new background there's no reboot or anything required to do that um, now to show you the third way the third way now is to run regedit or registry editor oh what am I doing here 
regedit. it. You click OK. And what you want to do is, we'll start from the top here, click on local machine. Um, you're looking for software, you're going to click on software. Then you're looking for the Microsoft folder. And you're going to scroll all the way down to your Windows folder, which is here. Then you're going to click current version. Then you're going to click background. And inside back ground you should have a D word value OEM background if you don't you right click select new click the D word and you're gonna create the new value and you're gonna name it OEM background once you do that you're gonna click on that and the value will be zero you change it to one and that's it click OK and as I showed you before um, the uh, C colon backslash windows backslash system 32 backslash OOBE folder backslash uh, what was it uh, back uh, sorry info uh, slash backgrounds uh, same thing same areas where that photo is going to be and that's it you close this and you're done and that's how you do the windows logon background screen change thanks for watching